Hello, people. It's Poet. And I just had to check to see whether my mic was muted or not. It's one of those days. Today, I think I'm going to be building um, a project that I've been thinking about building for a while. Let's just see here. Can I not take these and make, like... Can I do it like that? Or, no, how does it work? Ah, I see. So I can do like that. Okay. So this is a project that I, I've been thinking about building for a while. And I just have not. And I'm going to. In order to do it, I need lots more of that nether brick. So that's why I have all the nether rack on me. And we're joined here by I Love My Mommy, 42. Good old mommy. Now, where are my stove tops? They're downstairs. I'm going to go there. Been a while since I recorded on here without someone else's voice beside mine. That's it's kind of a thing that, well, it, it's, it's encouraged on the server a lot, is to do a lot of collaboration. Uh, so I've done stuff with, with, well, all the people involved in the Skybridge Bob thing. With Winter, with High Boy, with Jack, and so on. It's been fun. It's fun. So I am gonna keep doing those kinds of videos, definitely. Uh, but wanted to do one on my own today, just kind of again get stuff off my chest, and you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you just you need to talk to yourself. You need to talk to you guys. It's just the way that it is sometimes. So. Basically, I wanted to talk about something that, uh, well, actually, it was a, a comment that kind of inspired me to talk about this. I don't really know how the comment inspired me at all. It's just because the comment had really nothing to do with it. But uh, I was reading a comment, and then it kind of got me thinking about stuff. And then after thinking about stuff, I decided, yep, I'm going to talk about that. And the thing I'm going to be talking about is uh, basically... It has to do with with everything, with like the way that why I am the way that I am, and and that kind of thing. So I think it's probably pretty apparent, or maybe it's not, but it could be uh, that I've got some kind of an attention deficit, and that happens like right now. What am what am I doing? What am I even doing? I have no idea. I was paying attention to something else, and now I'm like. So many of these tunnels have not even been explored. Amazingly enough. But yeah, I think it's pretty apparent that I get distracted pretty easily. Um, and it happens with just about everything. Today, for example, I was driving. And driving is is hard enough as it is. You know, it it shouldn't be a complicated task. It's really not. Um, but it gets complicated when you're not really paying attention to the road in front of you kind of thing. Um, or that you're paying so much attention to the cars around you or the things happening around you that you're, you're distracted and that kind of thing. It becomes like a, an actual risk. So, I mean, that's kind of sometimes, uh, how I find myself. And that's just because of the way that I am. And, uh. You know, is it a medical condition? It's really hard to say. Have I ever been diagnosed formally with anything? Again, very hard to say. Because, see, my parents, and this is my mother, you know, she's, she's a wonderful person. But my mom doesn't like to think that anything, anything at all, could possibly be wrong with her children. Uh, for example, my sister has dyslexia. She does. She was diagnosed with it. Um, and instead of getting treatment for it, or instead of you know having her coursework altered to to kind of uh, support it and uh, well, not support it. What's the word? But basically to to help help you learn the proper way that people who have 
dyslexia, if I could say that word. Um, is it dyslexic to, to not be able to say dyslexic? <laughs> it might be. Dyslexia is a hard word to say. But anyway, um, my sister has it. She was diagnosed with it. My mother denied it. She denied that the professional was a professional. She said he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, he's a hack. He's a phony. Uh, she's just fine. She's wonderful. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's just as smart as everyone else. How dare he say anything bad? So that kind of... I mean, to be honest, I hate to use a word as strong as ruined. It ruined her life. I wouldn't say it ruined her life because my sister's... Well, she's an oddball, but... You know, and she might not run her life quite properly. But she she runs her life in a way that isn't quite normal now. She still doesn't really... She, she still can't spell things right. She still can't say things right. Um, she doesn't understand things the way that other people do because of her dyslexia and because it was never treated the way that it should have been. Um, and that was kind of my mother's fault. And I hate saying that, but you know what? Um, a parent should do everything for their child to, to get them the right help that they need rather than be in denial. My mother's always been that way, though. Uh, for example, uh, my brother has asthma really bad. I mean, I have it mildly, so mildly that I've never needed a uh, an inhaler or anything like that. Uh, the odd time when I get really, really... Uh, stressed from playing sports or something I might I might need something but very very rarely because I used to play full contact football baseball uh, basketball it, it, like everything I was a sports kind of guy and hockey especially how could I forget hockey man but yeah it's, it's full full sports kind of guy and how many times have I ever needed an inhaler maybe once or twice you know so I wasn't very bad my brother really bad. He was hospitalized for it. Um, my my pediatrician at the time, it was my brother and mine, uh, said to my mother that you have to quit smoking. He said, he said uh, your smoking is not helping it. In fact, it could make it much worse. Um, you have to quit smoking. That's another p thing where my mother said, He's a hack, he's a phony, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And she has not gone back to a doctor since. Who knows what's wrong with her in life? Who knows if she has, like, some horrible illness, um, you know, for someone her age. The older you get, uh, the more is wrong with you. I mean, that's not something to be ashamed of. I mean, the older you get, the older you get. There's nothing, you can't change that. That's just how life is. But you should still take care of yourself. She refuses. That's just that that gives you some insight into the way that she thinks. It's kind of an odd odd way of thinking, but hey, that's my mom. So whoops. Okay. Nope. Bad. Wow. Do I have a bucket of water? Nope, of course not. Um So when it came to me, I guess I could speed ahead kinda, because I was just trying to explain like my sister has dyslexia. My mother denied it, and therefore, everyone had to deny it because my, what my mother says is the the law, basically. Um, okay, so that's not gonna work out. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. There we go. Start digging this way. Might find some diamonds. Um, so when it came to me, it was pretty apparent from a, a very early age that I had. Uh, some kind of an attention deficit, and that's like me being able to pay attention just doesn't exist. It uh, like I, I can't, and I, I admit it openly. I d I don't pay attention. Uh, I never paid attention in school. I don't pay attention in in life with most things, uh, and it's been kind of a struggle in a lot of ways for a lot of things that I do. Um, and in a lot of ways, it's made me uh, ashamed to do certain things because. I know that I won't be able to do them for very long um, with the fact that I cannot pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, it's also, you know, it, it could also contribute to what a lot of people would consider laziness and that kind of thing. 
And meanwhile, I'm not being lazy. It's just that I am so distracted that I cannot work kind of thing. You know, that's there's a fine line and it's crossed so many times, you know. So I wanted to talk about that. Like a lot of it, a specialist once, once talked to me about it um, and asked if I had considered taking medication for it and that kind of thing. I, of course, said, well, no. And instead of saying, okay, well, then we should look at something, the specialist kind of just sloughed it off. And it's kind of a problem. I mean, do I want to be medicated for the rest of my life? No. Would it have helped me? Maybe. You know, it's, it's again, I got to, you can't sit back and wonder who you might have been. Uh, you just got to kind of take and embrace who you are. You know, if you can take any advice away from this conversation, you, you can't try to think about who you might have been, but just embrace who you are. And that's very true. I embrace who I am. I don't, I don't sit there and think, gee, you know, if, if my mother hadn't been the way that she is, uh, I could have had so much in life. But I guess today is the day that I get that kind of stuff off my chest. And I don't know why I'm going to get it off my chest. Um, it really has nothing to do with any comments that anybody made. Like I said, it was kind of a, a comment made me think about it. But it wasn't why. It, the comment had nothing to do with it. So, I guess the place I'll start is the obvious. Um, with with my mom saying, you know, nothing's wrong with you. You're smart. You're You're great. You're wonderful. And that's the way that it it kinda ended you know you have my silk touch silk touch nope hmm I'm gonna leave those for now I'll, I might find them in the future get some more of this while I'm here why not I know I don't have a fortune pick right now but don't really need it okay um so I mean my mother's side she, you can't blame her for for just being a loving mother, it's uh, it's not her fault. I admit that it's not her fault. Um, she could have given me uh, the encouragement to seek help for if I had an illness or something like that. Um, but no, she wouldn't. I mean, that's just not the way the way that she is. Ouch! 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 Come on, hit him. Okay, I think I hit him. I barely saw him. Creeper. I saw a creeper. Did I hit the skeleton and the creeper in one blow? With like one arrow? That's incredible. Can you guys see? You can't see. The, the skeleton died and the creeper died. I think it, it got hit by one arrow. It's... Does that... That doesn't work that way. What happened? Okay. Um, but I'm trying to say... Oh, there's the creeper right there. Ah, yes. Hi, creeper. I'm trying to say that my my mom isn't the one to blame. I mean, that's, that's not fair to her. She raised me very well. And, uh... I guess it also has to do with my support group of friends while I was growing up. A lot of you know, I wasn't exactly the most popular guy in, in school by a long shot. I mean, yeah, I played sports and stuff, but, you know, last to be picked kind of guy in sports. Not, you know, the, the jock of the class who got the blonde-haired floozy to go out with him for no apparent reason. Um, I was the... I'm, I'm a geek. I'm a geek through and through. I mean, hey, you're watching a Minecraft video. I love this game. I play this game. This is, like, what I what I love doing. Now, being that kind of guy, I didn't have very good friends either. You know, when you're in that kind of situation, you, you take the friends you can get. I admit that, you know. Did I love my friends? Oh, I loved them, you know. But did I... Nowadays, if I look back on my life, considering... Do I talk to any of my friends from way back then? No. I don't. Honestly, I don't. They don't talk to me. I don't talk to them. Uh, it's it's not because I would hate them. It's just, you know, you grow apart. You grow up. You grow apart. 
and maybe I, I became a little bit wiser in the way that they treated me, um, some of the things they might, might have said to take advantage of me, and that kind of thing. You know, you, you start paying attention when you're older, when you're my age. Um, so with that in mind, I didn't have a very good support group of friends. You know, I didn't have someone saying, um, you know, hey, we should work on that project together. Or, you know, if you don't get that, that done, you're going to have to repeat the grade or something like that. I mean, I never repeated a grade, but... I had a friend who certainly did because of the fact that he also didn't have a very good support group. We didn't really support each other that way. Um, whereas in later life, when I was in college uh, for engineering, I had an excellent support group of friends. And we all encouraged each other to do better. And we all encouraged each other to try harder. And when one guy got an A, it was my job to get an A+. plus. You know, that kind of encouragement. Um, Look at this guy coming suited up for the party. Horde of zombies. Ooh, he dropped his yellow shirt. Alright. I want to take a look at it, even though I probably won't really use it or want it. There we go. Eh, just a regular old golden chest plate. Do not care. Iron shovel. It's almost dead don't care about that either but yeah I mean in later life my friends really helped me and I'm thinking like I look at um, the friends that my brother has or had I should say uh, while he was uh, growing up in elementary school primary school whatever you want to call it um, they were all very supportive of each other they all encouraged each other to try harder to do better um, and a lot of them went on to be very successful in what they did. And um, my brother's generation, like, although I've talked about this before, his generation didn't have bullies the way that that mine did. And especially when it comes to like technology and stuff, my generation, if you were into technology, you you were getting your heads shoved in a toilet. You weren't you weren't embraced like these days. Even the jocks play video games. In my day, they just did not. Just never. And I want to kind of reiterate that to show you the differences. But his support group was really good. Mine was not very good. And that contributed to a lot of the problems that I was having with my attention and not being able to pay attention in school and that kind of thing. And I guess to make a very long story short, I guess... When I was reading that comment today, that unknown comment, the one that kind of inspired me to to talk about myself like this, is that, you know, the what if, you know, what if I had paid attention? What if I had had the medical help? What if I had had friends or, or parents who were there to support me and to give me what I needed to succeed rather than slough it off as, oh, you're doing fine. I don't understand why you're not doing getting the greatest grades or you know that kind of thing. Yes, I I passed every single grade that I was in. I passed. I passed when I was little. It was with A's. As I was growing uh, a little bit older, it was with more like C's. Uh, and then even into probably some D's in there as well. Um, but basically, I don't know. It's had I had the proper help around me it it could have been different and like I said you shouldn't reflect on what could have been but this is the exception for me I've never really done that and I wanted to just this once take the time and say you know what if what if and just even for fun just even to, to talk about myself because I know who I am I mean I've got a nice job um, I'm a network engineer I'm a manager I do very well um, and I'm very knowledgeable with what I have. While I was in uh, university, I got straight A's. Uh, I was in the dean's honor list, that kind of thing. Like, it, it was good for me later in life, yeah. But, you know, when I was little, it, it could have shaped who I was completely differently. Like, I, I said earlier that I was a, a big geek. I've always been a geek. Um, 
I built my first computer when I was seven years old on my bedroom floor. And you got to keep in mind, when I was seven years old, we didn't have the internet. The internet wasn't wasn't invented yet. I mean, if it was, it was in in a, a warehouse, like in a some specialty university somewhere at CERN, Switzerland. The internet wasn't public yet. We couldn't look up a YouTube video on how to do this, blah, blah, blah. When I built my first computer, I built it by taking it all apart, learning what every single component did on my own through either tech manuals or just through trial and error. Learning what you could not and could do with a computer by trial and error, mixing and matching, settings, you know, that was the way that we, we used to do things. That's not the way that I used to learn. Um, because the internet, like I said, wasn't exist. It didn't exist. You couldn't look it up. And I built one when I was seven years old. You know, had I been able to continue that kind of that kind of pace, who knows where I could have been? You know, when I was uh, around seven or eight years old, and I remember it the first time that I built my my first computer. Seven year old me. Um, my dad looked at me. And uh, I kind of showed him what I had done. I, I showed him that I had built a computer. A computer from scratch, basically. Um, and I say from scratch, but back then, we had things like Ataris and ColecoVisions and, and that kind of thing as basically a, a, a starter point. Uh, and then we just basically had to code in our own stuff and make the components work on our own. It was very mechanical back then. So, I mean, it was... It was uh, just an awesome time to live but here I was seven-year-old me I just finished building a computer and my dad kinda looked at me like you've got to be kidding me and he said you know one day you could be the next Bill Gates and I remember my response to him was something along the lines of well why would I want to be the next Bill Gates Bill Gates will want to be the next me you know uh, little seven-year-old uh, is saying, why, why me be Bill Gates when he could be me? Why do I have to live in his shadow? It's it's me who's going to be doing the great things. That's kind of the way that I looked at life, even back then, and I wouldn't like to think that it was hindered by the fact that. Um, all the friends that I could make in school liked slacking off and liked fooling around and not doing their work and didn't support each other and you know it was it, those were the friends that I could get you know being the person that I was the shy kid in class the one who who otherwise had no friends so you know would things have been different it's really hard to say and I don't like dwelling on it and I don't think it's healthy to dwell on it I love who I am now I I embrace who I am I don't take it for granted at all um, I love the people that I've met the people that I'm around um, support groups that I have now are just incredible including every single person who comments on these videos huge support group so I appreciate it very much. I'm going to cut off this episode here. It's been a long time, long episode. Thanks, guys, for listening. Like this video. Why not? Like it just for yourself, just to, to embrace who you are now. Like the video. <laughs> you yourself right now, like it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be doing more multiplayer stuff. I'll be doing these kinds of talks from time to time, too, of course. And you don't want to miss out and do all those other awesome things that you people do. With that, I am almost done collecting these blick, 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 blicks, these bricks, and uh, we'll start building our next project very soon. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>